Morning. Welcome to Keswick Chapel of the Chew. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day four of week nine as we continue to look at the message from this past Sunday, Chosen. Our passage comes from John chapter 6, verses 60 through 71. I want to encourage you to grab your Bible and your pen and paper. If you've been with us uh, this week at all, especially the last two days, you'll know that we were focused on our first the- theological affirmation, which was this, the way includes hard teaching. And we focused on a few of the verses out of our passage, but yesterday we focused mainly on Matthew chapter 5, and we looked at the hard teachings that Jesus had for us. And so as we look at those hard teachings, we we wonder, where does that take us? Well, today's theological affirmation is this, the way of Jesus leads to eternal life. So the hard teachings the teachings that are hard for us to hear and harder still for many of us to follow in many ways, those hard teachings, that hard path leads to eternal life. So we want to look at some verses from John chapter 6 today, verses 66 through 69. So I hope you've grabbed your Bible and you're ready to take some notes and follow along with me. We're going to look at this exchange between Jesus and Peter. Really, Peter was the spokesperson for the 12. And so if you are ready to read along with me, let's start in verse 66 now. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and were no longer following him. You do not want to leave me too, do you? Jesus asked the 12. Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. This, my friends, is the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be unto God. So what do we see here in this response from Peter on behalf of his 11 other brothers who were disciples called of Jesus? We see him stating a couple of affirmations, the first of which is this. Jesus, you have the words of eternal life. Doesn't matter how hard the teachings are, Jesus, we know that these words lead to eternal life. We know that you, Jesus, lead to eternal life. And then the other part of the affirmation was this. We know that you are the Holy One of God. So no matter how hard it was and the fact that folks were leaving and stopping their following of Jesus... They were no longer going to follow him. Why? Well, because they started to realize how hard these truths were. Maybe they realized some other things, too. Maybe they realized that Jesus wasn't who they pictured him to be as the Messiah. They all thought that the Messiah was going to come rescue them from the Roman tyranny. They thought that Jesus was going to set up his kingdom in their lifetime on this earth. And yet Jesus was not talking about that kingdom at that time. Jesus was talking about their eternal souls and their eternal salvation. And so maybe that maybe that's why some of them stopped following Jesus. I really believe that many stopped following because it was so hard to do what Jesus was asking them to do because it was contrary to everything that they had known in their lives. Just like today. Everybody was really out for themselves. What can I get? What can I do? How can I help myself? Jesus himself said that he didn't come to be served, but to serve. This is what the kingdom of God is about. Service to others. We're called, Jesus commanded us to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and our neighbor as ourselves. In order to do that, we have to give of ourselves, not receive. So these are radical teachings from Jesus. And as we think about that, I love the quote from Eugene Peterson that Pastor Bud shared with us on Sunday. It said this, Those of us who understand ourselves as followers of Jesus are at risk of discarding Jesus' way and adopting the world's way. Once we start paying attention to Jesus' way, it doesn't take long to realize that following Jesus is radically different than following anyone else. This is a true story. When you look at what Jesus says about, you know, loving your enemy, 
praying for those that hate you and despise you. Those are radically different than the world's position. And these are not easy things to do, are they? So when the pressures come on us, when the trials come, when the temptations come, we have a choice in that moment. We can choose to join Peter and follow his lead and declare, Jesus, your words lead to eternal life. And I know that you are the Holy One of God. Or we can give up and follow the way of the world. Well, the truth is that the way of Jesus leads to eternal life. The way of the world leads to eternal death. With Jesus Christ, there is no middle ground. We can't ride the fence. We're either all in or we're all out. So as you chew on these things today, I want you to get a hold of this truth. And I pray you'll invite the Holy Spirit to lead you and to guide you to give you eyes to see and ears to hear this truth today and a receptive heart and mind to really take it in, to allow it to transform you into the disciple of Christ that he's called us to be. I pray that you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.